Uh, so uh, I'm very sorry. Uh, we'll begin now. Nandini Nagari has 12 vowel letters and 35 consonant letters, and the number excludes the A with Anushwara and A with Visharaga. And the inventory of Nandini Nagari alphabets, sure, that is the combination of ka and sha and the nya are treated as a single letter. In the case of letter of sha, that is the combination of ka and sha that is going to see in future. Maybe oh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow, it does not show any apparent resemblance with the letter of ka and sha, which you can see in other uh, alphabets, other uh, scripts. So I would like to start with uh, oh, oh, and time to time I will explain one by one. So uh, Nandi Nagari, oh. there are very please few. on mute, please, dear participant, please. So. I request all my participants, please unmute from your side. Uh, mute from your side so that uh, we can have a better understanding of the lesson. So now I would like to begin with uh, A. I'm talking about this A. Okay. In Devanagari, this is the A. So how to write the Nandi Nagari A? There are variants but time to time i will tell you all the variants one by one so now you have a one start with one horizontal line and then there is a vertical but slanting line like u we do and then you can have the round one and at the end there will be a small circle and then slanting one line to the up from the center of this. And then we can join with a vertical line. And on the top of that, there will be one stroke, which is the head stroke. Okay. This is the A, but we have varieties of A. And time to time, I will tell you. So please first down, uh, write down this A first. Okay. And then we can see the A, actually A having the same, only we have a extra stroke here. So this is A in Nandi Nagari. When I will provide a chart or handout, then you have a chance to see all the variations. But time to time, we will practice the variations. So today is the first class. So I'm giving you a little bit of idea about the vowels. So we will slowly, slowly have the variants in the next class. So this is A and A. Already both I have shown here. And then we can go to the E. That is the short E. And you can have a chance to compare all the alphabets with Nandinagari and Devanagari. That you can compare after the class. See how to write the E. Then again, you have a horizontal line. And then there is a line, slanting line to the downward, to the left. And again, you have a circle little bit and then you can have this. This is E. Please note down. This is E. Short E. And what is the long E? I just change little bit with the same E, the short E. Easily you can recognize. So we can have the diacritical form, a diacritical mark, we can have this long E. In Devanagari we can change with long E. The same pattern, you can have the long E. So please follow short E and long E. So we have practiced O, A, E, E. And uh, after writing all the vowels, again I will write all together. Okay. So this was the short E and long E both. And then I can go to the U. We have in Devanagari, I am writing both Roman and Devanagari. 
So in the uh, U, again, you have this horizontal line. Okay. And then again, a slanting line to the left side to the down. And again, a round one. This is U. Okay. So this is U. And now we can go for long U. With the same graphic, I will change. And the color can show you how it is long U. So you have that uh, yeah, horizontal line on the top of the U that is long U. And here also we can change the long U as Devanagari. The same from the middle of this corner uh, here, you can have this little bit down, little circle, and then line like this. It is more stylistic. So uh, this is the long U. Okay. So we can have practiced O, A. Again, I think I can write for you so that you can have better understanding. O, A, E, E, and then U and the long U. So O, as I told you, you have to, this is O. This is A, okay? And then the same, E, and long E. Long E, and then U. With long U. So please have this O, A, E, E, U, U. Now we can go to the long R, okay? And short row both. This is the short row. And then long R. So what do you have to do? You have to take one horizontal line. Then joining a vertical line, a stroke joining with the vertical line, and in the below you have a semicircle. This is R. with the long row, same horizontal, vertical, one line joined to the in the middle. Okay, and then here. This is the long R. And there are variations. Definitely you will know when the time will come. So you just practice the forms I have given you. And then we can proceed. The another R. Lr. How to do the lr? Definitely there is some Devanagari effect very clearly. You can see here. What you do, you take one horizontal line, then joining with a vertical line. And from the corner, the both corner, the horizontal and vertical, from this corner, you take a, another line to the downward. And then from here, you can little curve and make a circle here. And below, you can have this, and under the knit, you can have this semicircle here. So this is a loop. This is loop. Please write down. <coughs> Sorry. So you have loop. Then we have A and I. So, you know, in Brahmi, we have this A. Okay. And also we have Brahmi, we have this like A. So both. And also in Brahmi, we have this is A. 
and this is also a we can find different types of a in brahmi actually it is the same in nandinagari so nandinagari we are talking about this a okay a first you have a horizontal line then two lines to the below it will join like this is the a okay but you have to put a one line to the left this is a okay and then i both the same if you have the i i am talking about the i in devanagari here see the same structure of the a and you have two strokes on the top as we do in uh, devanagari little change so a i excuse me sir sir uh, which is at first figure on the top uh can you tell me what uh, the first one on the top okay we are talking about yeah, the I... a can you ah. see the screen yeah yeah a yeah we are talking about the a. a so as the a you have this horizontal line and two lines like a triangle you have to make a triangle okay and from the end of the triangle the horizontal line from the corner you have take a one line slanting to the upward to the left this is a is clear then the first figure is if this is the second one is a then what is the first figure it is devanagari okay. it is devanagari okay. yeah yeah okay and i think you see first of all you have to understand aapko pehle ye samajhna hai ki pehla jo do hai usme roman devanagari hai niche ka letter aap sikh rahe hain yes yes got it sir thank you ha tabhi aapko pata chalega nahi to fir gadbad ho jayega you see first row the parallel i am giving both roman and devanagari and the below always we have the nandinagari so now i'm talking about i i so same you have this horizontal line make a triangle and then you can have both line to the left this is i now it is clear to you yes sir okay so a i now we can go to the next that is o and o i am talking about this o we have the o in devanagari actually this is the same but little change that you will see now because what you say in what you see in the round that is not round so you have this horizontal line you have to make the u like like devanagari u you see but here in the end of the circle little circle is there and then you can have a stroke and then vertical line then you can join like this this is the o please see okay you can see the basic structure of o and the head stroke actually nandinagari uh, script you are you have to be very careful about the head strokes so head stroke will uh, help you to recognize uh, when you have the matras so be careful about the head stroke see there is a little head stroke and which is not joined with the basic letter there is a little gap so this is o and same thing it will be au again i would like to figure out the au i am talking about this au so how to do the au you have this both stroke on the top in devanagari au so again you have this vertical line sorry the horizontal line and then come to like like o with short circle again you have join with the vertical line okay then you have this head strokes little head stroke 
okay and then you have two vertical lines because we are going to o with on the top like this o please note down on the top in o was single planting line uh, one line to, uh, towards the left side on the top and here we have two lines so that you have to remember now i am going to write you all the alphabet again one by one hope you can recognize uh, i am not writing the roman or devanagari only i am writing the nandinagari and you try to recognize them as per your notes you prepared just now so i am talking about the a i am just writing you just follow what i am doing just follow oh. this is a and then this is a oh. okay and then we have e e long e with long e this four then i can go to another four let four vowels o a e e we can go to another four vowels u long u okay maybe we can change the color maybe long u and ru long ru okay so and then we can go to the l this l okay and then a a i i okay and then we can go to o Oh, oh, oh. Hope you sir, can. Sir, चीज पूछनी है. Sir, हाँ, ये जो ऊपर जो ये gap आपने रखा है शीरो रेखा में ऊपर ये हाँ. रखना है है ना? हाँ, वो gap है. ठीक है sir, thank you. वो gap क्यों है? मैं आपको बता रहा हूँ gap इसलिए है. क्योंकि आप देखिए सभी का जो स्ट्रक्चर है ना स्टार्टिंग वाला सब जी ओरिजेंटल लाइन है जी ठीक है जो देवनागरी में नहीं है इसलिए देवनागरी में चाहिए जी जी हाँ ये सब ओरिजेंटल लाइन है ओके सो वी कैन सी वेरी क्लियरली ऑल दिस अल्फाबेट्स और आई कैन टेल यू यू सी देर आर फोर बेसिक भावेल्स जस्ट लिसन four primary vowels four primary letters what are they a e u and a other long vowels like a e u all are derived by use the subsidiary vowel symbols it mean there are only four basic vowels actually everything that is also impossible in uh, brahmi also you have basic vowels primary vowels and other vowels are derived from that primary vowels when you were talking about this diphthong like oi or au we see it is with the combination of u so you have remember basic vowels and derived vowels if you have any question you can ask me now
Yes, Guruji, what are the four vowels? A, E, U, and what is the number four? Uh, first one is A, uh, okay, I'm right down first, okay? This is the A, uh, this is the one I told now, and then I told E, look at the E. Then I told about the U, look at the U. Then I told about the A. These are the four basic primary vowels. And all other vowels are derived from this. Okay. There are other paleographical notes. I will tell you time to time, but this is the basic uh, vowels. I can tell you also what is the wa, wa relationship, what is the ra, la relationship. When you come later, I will tell you. But this is the basic uh, vowels of Nandi Nagari. Okay. Any other question? Do, do you have? Sir, you can see it uh, which one? Hello. Just uh, ring. 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 Okay, both I can do here. See, the first row, you have one line, horizontal line, join with the vertical line, and another little slanting line join with the middle of that vertical line, and on the below, there is a semicircle. Is clear? Okay, sir. And the long row have the same procedure. But you have double semicircle here, short one and bigger one. Okay. Yes, sir. Dekhi, aap koi bhi prasna mujhe kar sakte hain. Hindi mein aap kar sakte hain, English mein kar sakte hain. Koi problem nahi hai. Aap Hindi mein bilkul kar sakte hain. Aur main uttar bilkul aapko dunga. Abhi theek hai? Sir, namaskar. Mujhe ek prasna dao. Haan, namaskar. Thoda jor se boliye. Haan. Am I audible, sir? Yes, yes. You are audible. Please. So you can do that. There's no problem. Uh, okay. Professor, the, the letter U, the last element of the letter U, can you please uh, show how to write it? Thank you. Okay, last element. Oh, you are talking about the long U? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, you are talking about this long U? Uh, yes, sir. Correct. Uh, yep, okay. Yep, yep, yep. So, okay. So now we can have uh, the long U. You can have this uh, uh, horizontal line. Then see this line from the corner, from the end of this line, then you can have just the Devanagari like who like this. And from here, from this middle part, you have to start one stroke coming down, little curve going up and again like this. Okay. Uh, yes, thank you. Okay. So, uh, we have seen up to O. So now I can start with the consonants, the basic consonant letters of Nandinagari, similar to that of other Indian scripts. Indicates the consonant plus the vowel O. As in Devanagari letters are found for all the Varga consonants. Like I'm talking about this Ka Varga, Cha Varga, Ta Varga, Ta Varga, like kachatatapar kuchutatapu and grammar. When a pure consonant that is without any vowel is to be represented or separate and subsidiary symbol 
which is identical with the symbol in the Devanagari script is found to be in use. So the consonant letters, I'm going to tell you one by one. So beginning with the consonant letters, that is Vyanjana, consonant. Jo Vyanjana hai, usko hum sikhne ja rahe hai. To isme Nandinagari or Roman. So I'll write down the Roman first. So I'm talking about the Ka. And ye Devanagari mein, this is in the Devanagari. So how to write the Ka in uh, like here, as we see. See here. As you know, in Brahmi, it was a cross. Okay. You have a vertical line and there is a horizontal line cross in the middle of that vertical line. Okay. So, timely, these two vertical uh, horizontal line come like this, you see. Or I can change the color maybe, you see. And then we have this. The same, time to time it just changed. So, now, I will tell you about the ka of Nandinagari. So you can have first one horizontal line. And middle of the horizontal line, you have a half circle. And then there is a vertical line. And the vertical line, again, you have to little curve down one another line. It is the ka. Okay, so please write down very clearly. This is a ka. And you can also compare with the Devanagari ka because both ka's are in front of you. Sir, it so looks like a ka. It looks like a ka. It looks like a ka. It looks like a ka. Wo Nandinagari me ka hai. The Devanagari Ji. fa is a ka in Nandinagari. Ji. You can write down like this, okay? So, uh, this is uh, ka. Please write down. And then we can go to the ka. So, ka. It is also very interesting how to uh, do the ka. One, take a line, horizontal line, okay? And as you know, from the middle of that line, take a little curve line and then one slanting line to the down, okay? As we write raw in Devanagari. And then you see the horizontal line is there on the top. And then end of the horizontal line, take a vertical line and make a triangle here. See, this triangle. This is Kha. What is the difference between the Kha in Devanagari and in uh, Nandinagari? See, in Devanagari, we have a, you see red color, we have a circle. And we have a vertical line going to down. But here, that vertical line is not going to down, just coming little half after that, then it is curved as a triangle. You see? This is the triangle. I can use other color to see. So that you have to remember. This is the ka. And the Tibetan scripts actually has influenced this much because Tibetan scripts around the 7th century. So Tibetan also call it a little bit like that. Okay. So now we can go ahead with the next consonant. Uh, that is the ga. I'm talking about this ga. And go, what you have to do? Same. You have a horizontal line join with the vertical line. I do that this. Then again, you take a vertical line at the end, you have a circle moving towards the left and coming again to the right. So this is a ga. 
is more or less it is similar like the devanagari ga but only the head stroke is little bit uh, different because in devanagari we have a, a parallel uh, both the, the stroke is there in both sides but is the head stroke is only one side okay so that you have to uh, remember so this is ga again we can go ahead with the letter gha i am talking about this gha gha okay and just to remember in brahmi we had this gha like this this is gha in the brahmi or we can also do like this, this is gha in the brahmi okay this is the gha in brahmi just remember this first okay and then we can little changed modified to know how to write the gha see you have to take one horizontal line joining with the vertical line this is very unique style of this nandinagari okay and then you have this horizontal line see this horizontal line okay with the green color i put here now and from here you can have two semi circle looks like two semi circle this is ga this is the one way of writing ga and another of ga also just i can tell you it is very close to the corner it is joined with that corner this is also ga please note down the gha so sir ye do tarah ka hua matlab ek mein to gap rakhna hai ek mein gap nahi bhi rakh sakte gap nahi rakhna hai nahi rakhna hai theek hai acha nahi rakhna hai join kar dena hai theek hai to sir ye pehle wale mein to aapne gap bataya hai orange aur bangni jo line hai usme gap hai ha ha to wo nahi rakhna hai nahi sir pehle kya hai wo ji jaise likha hai na ye pehle wale mein gap hai सेकेंड वाले में जो गोल बनाया उसे गैप नहीं है बस यही है सिंपल चीज है बाकी कुछ उसमें नहीं है सो वी कैन गो टू द नेक्स्ट लेटर द नेजल लेटर ऑफ दिस सीरीज कॉ सीरीज कम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस ओके एक्चुअली नो इज लुक्स लाइक Oh, see, this is nga. Please note down it. And sometimes also, this is also nga. See, what is the difference? When you have this stroke, little upward to the left side, and this is also nga. Please note down. This is nga. Okay. So. We have practiced ka ka ga ga na. Again, I will write down for you. You just recognize yourself. Okay. This is ka. Okay, and then we have ka. Ka. Okay, and then ga. then gha then na okay so ka kha ga gha na now we can go to the cha series this is cha This is the second series, Chaw series, and the Chaw actually you have seen this line, this horizontal line joining with a vertical line, and then you can a triangle here. See, this is Chaw, and easily you can recognize, you can compare with the Devanagari Chaw. So Devanagari Chaw, you have a small horizontal uh, horizontal line and little uh, little you see horizontal line. in uh, okay 
which color okay and then you can have this chuck but here there is no horizontal is a like triangle so please note down this is chuck now what about the ch i can write here ch you see ch not much difference see here again the same like ch but ch you have to again round here a small stroke a small round to the right to the downward this is ch please note down again i can write ch and ch so easily you can recognize them ch and from here this ch look at here the first one is ch the second one is ch i am talking about the ch and ch the ch ch please note down in the ch varg with the third letter is j this is j this is j okay so how to do the j it is like the same we start with the horizontal line and then make the u first you make the u then you take round again like this this is j see this so there will may be confusion with u and j sometimes so that only we can decide while you are reading the text again i am doing please follow horizontal line it is slanting line to the down then a round and then from a small circle going down 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 going little up to the left side so this is j please write down the j okay and now we can proceed to the j it is very easy so we are talking about this j j see in brahmi we have this ka okay and then you said k this is j so you can if you know brahmi then easily you can say okay whatever the k in brahmi that is j in nandinagari okay so cha cha j j definitely there are uh, varieties of j but this is the one of the j basic okay please note down it and then we are going to the nya that is the nasal of the second series cha cha j j nya so i'm talking about the nya okay how to do this nya here it will change you have a semi circle first and then from that end you can have this horizontal line again one semi circle at the end of the horizontal line and then you have a stroke to the middle to the left side actually see if you remember ta in brahmi it is t so both is there so look at again i am uh, telling that you have a semi circle then one horizontal line again a semi circle and the one stroke to the left in the from the middle i will be happy to explain you again it you see how this ya we are talking about the ya actually this is a brahmi ta see here this is a brahmi ta in the brahmi and this is a te now how to have the ya you have a again way horizontal line and then you can have this some circle like this this is ya please note down 
so now the time has come to tell you the all the year series so first is cha this is cha we are talking about this cha okay cha cha and then ja and then cha and then you have the ya please note down cha cha ja ja ya because whatever we are learning today this is the basic alphabet of nandinagari and i request all the participant to practice more and more so that within 2 3 days we will be able to catch up all the vowels and the consonants and the combinations and then we will be able to read some manuscripts and some inscriptions so i am having some manuscripts so i will show you and give to you okay so now we can go to the next series and uh, there will be homework from today onwards there will be homework so you have to have the homework so start with toss series now and end of the class i will tell you about the homework so we are talking about the ta 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 ke bare mein bata rahe hain ye ta series hai same you have a horizontal line vertical line this is the very good structure with a scientific structure and then from the middle of this vertical line one semi circle but little the word the line will be little cross the vertical line as we stylish we write in a in roman also sometimes we write like stylistic a so this is a ta again i am doing please follow okay this is ta ta and then we can go to tha and here is very interesting tha has a very uh, amazing shape still is round because in brahmi the tha was like a round i am talking about the brahmi tha okay and the same tha in nandinagari the second one you see only what is the difference again the same thing you see you have a horizontal and the vertical see the second one is nandinagari this one the right okay and the first one is the circle and don't practice that right actually i have shown you to show that this the second one is the nandinagari so the right is not the part of the tha again i can do the tha tha okay so you have a vertical a horizontal vertical this is very basic and then you have a round circle this is tha devanagari actually how you do we do like this this is tha what is the difference the difference is if you look at the head stroke the head stroke is both side parallel did you hear head stroke is one sided that's why in nandinagari you can have the head stroke individual script head stroke individual and they remain written as it is in the inscriptions also and manuscripts also okay so this is tha so we can say ta tha and then da i am talking about this da how to do you see again same horizontal line slanting line like u you see you have to very careful about this write down this is da and maybe it will confuse with ja may be confused with the uh, u sometimes so you have to be very careful about this this is da please note down da and then we can go to 
the dha so i'm talking about the dha okay this is dha how to do the dha actually there is not much difference with the dha but you can see now again the same horizontal line vertical line from the end of the vertical line you do like the devanagari dha so please see the dha tatha dha dha okay and then we can go ahead with the na that is the nasal letter na you see how to do again horizontal vertical then middle of the horizontal another vertical but short vertical compared to the next vertical this is na okay see this is na now i can tell you the ta ta da da na ta ta da ta na please note down ta ta da da na okay so we can go to next series that is the ta tha da dha na i am talking about this ta okay in devanagari ta so how to do the ta it is like devanagari not change much again horizontal vertical and like little round like ta this is ta only you can see the difference that the head stroke has going both side left side and also right side on the top but here is only left side this is ta okay so please remember this ta and then we can have the tha and the tha is looks like i can tell you looks like devanagari gha you just if you know devanagari ab aap, aapko devanagari pata hai to jaise devanagari mein gha hai na waise hi ye yahan tha hai so you just uh, remember that the devanagari gha you see again the same procedure horizontal vertical and from here you have like this is okay and the speciality is that the head stroke is not both side only one side that is the left side so this is tha please note down tha tha okay then we can go to the next that is da here the da is little different but we can see again same horizontal then slanting line again horizontal again slanting this is da see this is da look at here again i am telling again i am writing here for you this is da please note down da ta tha da and then we can go to the next letter that is dha so dha d h a dha this is dha and it is very interesting dha is looks like tha here it is little change now the style is change no horizontal no vertical vertical is there but not join with the horizontal horizontal make a round then you see this is tha in devanagari but here it is dha now it is very interesting to know 
how this thought came to the nagari and how the thought it is like the dha so it's very interesting to exactly work on the paleographical aspects of various scripts and how they are interconnected so it is our work to go through it okay now we have ta tha da dha and then na very interesting the na is the same like they were again but little change so i'm talking about the na you have the same horizontal vertical then small round and going to the corner going to the corner maybe again i can write for you this na okay so you have this direct corner okay this is na please note down na 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 okay suppose we would like to word kanaka suppose ka na ka kanaka means gold sona kanaka so how to do ka oh maybe the space i have to okay ka na ka okay so first ka okay and then you have the na again the ka kana ka that is gold okay suppose dhana dhana means wealth so i am talking about dhana how to write dhana you see dha dhana okay dha na suppose uh, like you can write another word like uh, Uh, which word you can write whatever alphabets you have learned so far or we have practiced so far we can write a couple of uh, uh, words by using the ka series no vowels ka series cha series ta series and ta series and i will uh, give you a couple of words and you are free to write down the words you know and you can write down in devanagari and nandinagari or roman or uh, nandinagari both uh, the possibility is there you can write down and send to me so that i can check and get back to you so this was the basic alphabets of the vowels and we can cover the consonants up to four series so tomorrow we have the fifth series thank you all and i'll be happy if you have any question thank you this much is from my side thank you ek thank you sir ha boliye kuch prashn hai to puchiye bilkul sir abhi aapne kal jo bataya tha na aapke presentation mein introduction ke liye i'll speak in english for the sir uh, yesterday you said uh, nandi nagari has correlation with the southern scripts as well as eastern north eastern and other indian scripts so hmm. while hmm. we are uh, learning this alphabets you will you also teach us how to correlate because the na that you show the 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 na hmm. is very similar ah. to the current uh, dirgha ikar uh, dirgha ikar of tamil if i'm not wrong dirgha ikar of tamil okay tamil. Mm -hmm. so will hmm. you also show us a little bit how that uh, you know how is that correlation and how it is derived a little bit of it definitely that we can do uh, but uh, today is the second day we can do on the seventh day because my focus is first to uh, practice all the uh, alphabets and you are when you are able to read and write little yes, bit yes. 
and that time maybe we can see on maybe during the end of the session day. you can at least show definitely, us some definitely 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 i will tell you the exactly effect of nandinagari to other scripts and the effect of other script to nandinagari yes because tamil even how we write shri no, no, i will compare with all south indian north indian whatever we have okay yes, sir, yes, sir, i can prepare and tell you i have something and you ask the question i will give back to you with your answer okay thank you so much sir thank you sir sir i have a question ah please uh, sir uh, uh, which dynasties commonly use this nandinagari script in their uh, copper plates and rock edits oh one 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 one, one. what can you tell me again which Slowly, dynasty huh? which dynasties use uh -huh. nandinagari in their inscriptions i told you na vijayanagar kingdom विजयनगर ओके ओके यस किंगडम अदर क्वेश्चन सो बिफोर कंक्लूड दिस क्लास ऑल माय डियर पार्टिसिपेंट्स आई यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस द भावेल्स एंड कंसोनेंट्स यू हैव टू सेंड मी योर राइटिंग आई वुड लाइक टू सी आई लव टू सी एंड आल्सो यू हैव राइट डाउन वर्ड्स using the alphabets we learned so far words short words and i will give you 10 to 15 words to write down in nandinagari so please join tomorrow in the same time so we have completed till no no right no uh, no i completed with up to uh, yes up to no ta 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 na yes ta 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 no yeah and tomorrow we will see a pop up or whatever but only you have to write down only now focus up to now don't go ahead okay it is a special request so vowel okay. and consonants okay thank you any other questions you can ask me Okay, so we can stop now, uh, Dr. Barik. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah, बोलिए बोलिए. Thank you. बोलिए. कैसे भेजूँगा आपको लिख कर? अरे भाई WhatsApp पे group में अब नहीं है क्या? Okay, 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 okay. अरे भाई अब group में है, वो इसी में भेजना है ना आपको लेके आना है सारनाथ तक. आइए. अच्छा अच्छा. Okay thank you